I want to understand as a creator from your mouth how that video comes to fruition from ideation to mm. upload because there's a lot going on there. You find this reservoir covered in these black plastic balls and then you say, uh, hello, reservoir, my name is Derek and I want to make a YouTube video about your... <laughs> Your black <laughs> balls. Yeah. Uh, and, the, you know, like literally, that's, this is what I'm thinking watching the video is, okay, how did he even do this? So, mm -hmm. Derek, yeah. how did you even do that? Okay, so the black balls video, I think the idea goes back years because there was a time when this dumping of black balls into the reservoir kind of went viral mm -hmm. uh, on the internet by itself. Like people were just watching that video of the truck dumping these black balls into <laughs> water. But there wasn't really an explanation around it. It was just sort of, this is a spectacle and it made news around the world. So I guess that brought it you know, into my consciousness and made me think, hmm, what are they really doing? And maybe that's something I could do a video about. And it was talking about how it reduced evaporation and it seemed wrong to me because I was like, well, they're black balls. It seems like it would heat up the water and make things worse. So uh, I was always curious about what, what exactly was going on there. I mean, it, it triggered my personal curiosity, um, but it also was like, you know, clearly a visual spectacle. Um, so at some point, and I knew these uh, reservoirs were in LA and I'm based in LA. So it seems like an obvious you know, topic to do, given that it's kind of right here. Um, recently, I've been experimenting with like hiring someone to help me, you know, develop projects. So I gave this project to this new researcher writer who I've been sort of starting to work with. And I said, you know, can you figure out, can we make a video about this? And she came back to me and she was like, mm, I don't think there's enough science here. It's just, you know, there's some balls, it's on a lake, you know, whatever, we, there's nothing here. And I was like, I don't know. It just feels to me like there's more to it. Like, I don't know. I just, I just told her to dig. And so she went away and dug and like talked to the, you know, water and power company here and, you know, started the ball rolling. But this was like a, a several months long process of sort of courting the power company and getting them to, to agree to allow us to come out and then, you know, film with them. So, you know, uh, a lot of the credit has got to go to my researcher writer and also to the power company for, you know, saying yes and getting me out there. But initially it was, he's not going on the boat. There's no drone allowed. You know, it was like, what, what would I actually have filmed if I had gone out there? And like, even, even like when we arrive at that boat, they're essentially saying to me, so what do you want us to do on the boat? You can stand here and film the boat from the shore. Like that's essentially what they said to me. And I was like, guys, like, just like, let's go on the boat. And they're like, you haven't signed a waiver. And so <laughs> I, I told them like, pull out your phone and I will record a video. And I actually did this for them where I said, I sign away my life. You know, I understand the risks <laughs> that I'm taking. They're entirely my own. I, uh, you know, relieve, uh, this company from all liability, etc. So eventually they, they did, you know, give me the light life jacket and let me on the, uh, let me on the boat. But uh, there was also like, they didn't want to let me fly a drone and stuff. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. anyway, um, I, I guess that's how it came about was like genuine curiosity mixed with the, you know, a bit of perseverance. What's if so interesting to me about that story is that you had to push it, that mm. you oh, yeah. were working with somebody. I, I don't even mean just from a logistics standpoint, because that's that to me is everything. Like logistics are boring and, and, and I hate getting into the weeds of getting permission to do things. What's interesting to me is you pushing something creatively that someone that you hired thought was boring. They said, yeah, yeah this is I mean, kind of boring. And you're like, I don't think so. And guess what? <laughs> it's like the most viral video of the year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely like the biggest video I've had, uh, particularly in a short period of time. And I, I just had a sense, I guess, maybe from the fact that it went viral the first time. I was like, you know, there's some, some, there's some hook here. There's something about it. And then when she came back with like the bromate story, I was like, whoa, you know, there's some serious science here. I, I had to cut a lot of stuff because, you know, they even did experiments with water bottles where they tied them all on a rope and they actually uh, dropped them down in the reservoir. And then they brought the water bottles back up and tested bromate in each one. And they could show that there was a gradient in the amount of bromate formed depending on depth, hmm. because the sunlight can penetrate different depths. Obviously, as you get deeper, it gets darker. So there's less bromate formation at the depths. So there's some really cool science in there. But, you know, ultimately, I, you know, some of it had to go. So, um, 
yeah, you know, it was all fascinating to me. And, and when I figured out there was a deeper science story behind, it's not just evaporation, but it's actually a carcinogenic, you know, chemical triggered by the sun, you know, like I was like, oh, this is great. You know, I was really excited about it. And, I, and honestly, to be out there and to see it, uh, it, it blew me away. It was, you know, crazier than I imagined. I didn't know that it was going to be 96 million. I didn't know how like 175 acres were going to be covered in these black balls. Like it was all of it was absurd. <laughs> so, you know, it's always cool when you can find something that's absurd and be like, you know, there's there's a scientific reason for this.